One. Two. The Y? You could do the Y like this, where it's one. Still the same stroke as the first. Two, and then straight down like that. <laughs> they all are. All right, the Z, nothing fancy with the Z. Just make sure it doesn't look stiff. One stroke for the Z. One, down, over. That's the Z. One, down, over. One, down, over. Nope, that's it. If you want, you could, for this third one, bring it down at an angle like that. That would, that would work. That would be fine. But there's no, in Unshul, there's no crossbar like that. You don't need that. Fine, whatever. I give in. All right, give me a word. What word should we write? What? I don't know how to spell xylophone. X. Oh my god. X Y. What is it? P H O N E. All right, xylophone. Xylophone? Phone. Yeah, phone. Okay. The X. One. Two. Y. One. Two. The L. One. Two. Serif. The O. Round. Round. The P. One pen width below. Serif, round, gracias. The H, one pen width above. There's your serif. The H, you can also add that little stroke if you want to. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to fit on here. O, the N, serif right there, that curve. Yeah, you can add this little foot. Well, yeah, I'm not done. The E ain't going to fit. Well, maybe. There's xylophone. Xylophone? Xylophone? I don't know. I don't know what it means. Someone said it. All right. Thank you, Steven. See you. Five, four, three, two, one. I want to show you your mini project because when you come in tomorrow, I have a cake. Marlene, thank you. Oh, this cake is nasty. Anyway, I have the paper for you. This is your final, your mini project paper. This is uh, 18 inches by 12 inches. I have a couple poems for you. You get to choose which one. You get to choose one. Uh, it's got to be long enough. You will use your C4 and your C2. We have different widths. This is the C4 right here. And the C2 is a little bit wider, a little bit thicker. So the steps are right here on this board. You're going to first, on the blank paper, <coughs> just draw some random shapes, some amoebic shapes. I don't care what they look like. They could be geometric or organic. Uh, organic. Or organic. <laughs> Second step is to do half-inch guidelines. If you're new to the class, have a partner help you. Luis knows how to do half-inch guidelines. A mí no me importa. No me importa si... If it goes this... If it goes this way... This is taking longer than it should. Sandy? 
Sandy. It can either go this way or this way. I don't care which way. Okay? But the first step is right here. Random shapes in pencil, very lightly. Second step is half-inch guidelines, either along the long side or the short side, doesn't matter. Okay? And you'll get to choose which shapes are going to be with your C2 or your C4. Now, all together, you're not skipping any spaces. You're not skipping lines. Okay, that's why they're all capital letters. They fit inside those guys. Hardly any. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you just choose which square is going to have the thick letters and which square is going to have the thin letters. Okay. Yep, C4 and C2. Doesn't matter which areas are going to be C4 or C2. You get to choose that. So the sub will give you the paper as well as the poem. And you have four days to complete this. You have Wednesday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. Okay? Some of you will be able to finish this one version and then start a second for extra credit. All right? This is sort of the look, the overall look of your final project with Unshul. All right. Any questions about this? We're good to go? Fantastic.